Let me ask you a question about uh, creative testing. Okay. So you had said that you basically have, you take the creatives to a broad, so broad audience with an overlay of age demo. Okay. Um, and you do this, I assume in a new ad set each time. I don't know, maybe it's the same and you turn the other yeah. ones off that you've like done. And then you take the ones that win and sort of graduate them. One, that's pretty much what we do. It's not anything super special. I mean, I think if we have a ton of assets, we'll do dynamic creative testing. As it comes into Q4, I think this is important because it's like, what's going to hit? The question that I have is, if you're doing that, I have seen that creative testing campaign like will actually scale sometimes. Yeah. So what do you do then? Yeah. <laughs> do you just yeah. scale it and then yeah. just yeah. like start yeah. it new? That's, that's a good question. So like I said, I, I do Monday, Monday creative builds and Thursday creative builds. Those are the only two days that I do it. So the client sends me to me on a Friday. I'm like, it's waiting for Monday. Um, and if it's on, you know, if I launch it Monday night, it waits till Thursday. And the reason, because I want a system in place that helps me ensure that I'm getting enough signal strength to go. And I don't want to have, I have 20% of my budgets always creative test, right? Mm -hmm. And so if I see something that works, I will incrementally scale that budget on that, on that specific broad ad set or ad, whatever it may be. Um, but then what happens is I will give it the full on gauntlet of going like, okay, I'm gonna give it seven days after seven days. If it's still trending in the right direction, I'll know that there's a clear winner. Something about this is winning. Let me migrate this into my business as usual campaigns. Nice and so I'll actually, you know, grab the post ID. So you like wait for it to stabilize basically. Yeah. I wait for it to stabilize yeah. because I, you know, there's always those weird nuances where it's like, Hey, if you launched on Thursday, you had a really good Saturday, Sunday, but wait till Monday. Cause it might drop again. And then it never recovers. Right. Okay. So I always like, give it a good full on seven days. Even if I'm like, Oh, I know this isn't working. I want to scale it. I hold off because I've sure. seen it time and time again, where, you know, especially if it's like a TikTok style video where it gets like really good thumb stop rate. You're like, Oh, it's got 50% thumb stop, right? This thing is going to crush. It's like, no, actually it just had a really good hook, but it, you know, it had a really good thumb stop rate, but it was clickbait. It didn't actually generate revenue. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, and so, but I always have, I'll always migrate the clear winners into a business as usual campaign. And yeah. then what I'll do is I'll usually kill off one of the highest spending ads within the business as usual, assuming mm -hmm. that it's going to, because here's what's going to happen. You're going to scale it into that. And yeah. all of a sudden, it gets no spend because the other one's still doing its thing. 